Today is the first day of the Surf Fishing Classic Pompano Tournament being held by Beach Bum Outdoors. So of course I am out here looking for Pompano to weigh in for that tournament. It is looking like a nice day to be out here in Pompano Fish. We got rough surf, breaking hard on that sandbar. Water looks pretty good, good Pompano conditions. So I'm gonna get these rods baited up, throw them out there. Let's see if we can catch that four pound Pompano and possibly win the Surf Fishing Classic. Deerfield Fabrication sent me some sand spikes. So I'm gonna be trying these out today. These are the open face model, never used them before. And thanks again, Deerfield, for sending me these sand spikes. I will definitely put them to use. All right, let's see about how well it goes in the sand here. Oh yeah, just easy. Rock it back and forth, just like my PVC spikes. That's much easier to get in there. And then the rod goes in just like that. A little four inch cup just sits in and I mean, just instantly get it out. Nothing to it, just right on the fish. And I will be using various colors of pompano rigs today. And I'll be baiting all of them with a variety of fish bites and fresh dead frozen shrimp from Half Fish Tackle in Navarre. And I'm gonna cast this one past the breaking waves pretty far out there in the trough area. Got a nice deep middle trough here. And it's already fished on. I just threw this out there. Didn't even have a chance to put it in the sand spike. That is a good sign. I will not be complaining about that. You cannot beat those instant hits. Let's see what we got. Don't feel very big, but it's got some head shakes been catching a lot of small jacks out in the Navarre Pensacola area here recently. They definitely keep you busy. And looks like a big fish. You don't catch too many of these out here. Oh, it peed all over me. And first fish of the day is this pig fish. And they got beautiful markings on them. Nice orange coloration some blue hard to see the blue right now but these actually are pretty beautiful fish but make great bait i'm i'm fishing strictly for pompano today i want to get some fish in that tournament so i'm gonna put this dude back i'm gonna put some shrimp and a sand flea fish bite on there and this is just a single drop with the float from ds custom tackle and i'm gonna throw this one just right behind the sandbar well right behind where the waves are breaking not really far out there, still on the sandbar. I hit that wave coming up, that's perfect. I, I, that'll end up being like right behind where it's breaking up. There we go. About to pack up. This feels like a good fish. All right, come on, be that pop. He's running in, or he got off. I think he got off, man. No, he just ran straight to shore. That's gotta be a pop. Pump it, no, yeah, all right. Maybe I won't pack up. First pop of the day right there. He went for that sand flea fish bite with the DS custom tackle pink and yellow float, single drop rig. He's a keeper. He's gonna be like probably right at 12, 11 and a half, 12 inches. But let me get that rod back out there. Let's see if we can find some more. All right, I got this baited back up with some shrimp. Let's get it back out there. Was not super far. About right there. Oh, there we go. That's a hit. Finally, I'm just like wondering what's going on. I was gonna move that rod. It's been slow. What we got, what we got. I'm liking these Deerfield sand spikes. Just pull the rod right out of it. All right, he's running in fast, whatever it is. Come on, be another pump, be another pump. Little pump, that's good enough. Target species, right? Nice. 
He went for the rainbow float. Got a nice rainbow float there with the green shrimp fish bite. And I really was, no joke, about to reel that in, give it another five minutes and move and caught a pump. <laughs> it makes me want to stay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what to do. Should I move or should I stay? Comment below what you would do. See you, buddy. Loaded it up with some more shrimp. Let's get it back out. This one was in that transition water right before the deep trough. Yeah, that line is going slack, quick. Wow, it ran in a bunch. I just turned around. <laughs> I looked back, I saw the line standing straight up, or the rod standing straight up, rather. He's running right in. Another little pop. Nice. All right, well, they're definitely here. That was quick. He went for the green get em bead with orange crab fish bite. Tip with shrimp. These little guys, ah. Oh, their spines get me all the time. Now, if you don't know, Pompano got these spines right here on their back and their belly. They got two down here as well. And they get me all the time on these little guys. I decided to go ahead and move. Ended up fishing about 30, 45 more minutes, zero bites. So I'm moving down the beach. There's a point down here that's got a nice close sandbar on it. Try that spot out, see what happens. Hopefully get on some bigger pompano over there. I moved down the beach about, I don't know, 200 yards or so. I, I did go for a pretty good walk, but the sandbar here is real close. And it's also pretty shallow, which is making me wonder if maybe there's some ghost shrimp on this bar. Definitely gonna put one right past that sandbar and further out just to see if where those pompano are cruising. And once I catch one, I'll focus in that zone. That didn't take long. Don't feel nothing. Maybe he didn't hook up. Oh, wait, there he is, there he is. <laughs> he going crazy. Looks like another little pump. It's always nice to catch the target species though. I, I can't complain about that. I just wish they were all the right size. They're digging that green fish bite. See you, buddy. Grow up. Get that back out there. Wasn't too far. Just like right where the waves start to form. Not necessarily break, but like they start coming up. Just past right where that wave broke. Decent fish. Oh yeah, here we go. Not sure what it is. Not fighting much. His reel's making a lot of noise. I think I need to service it. Alright, what we got? Come on, buddy. What we got? No fight in them at all. Oh, it's a pomp. Man, that pomp didn't fight at all. It's a good sized pomp too. <laughs> oh, it's funny how like you think, oh, this is just gonna be some junk fish. And then you catch a nice sized pompano. Now, now that I've picked this thing up and holding it, this is a good sized pompano. This will be a good one to go ahead and get weighed in. I, I, I haven't measured him. He hit that yellow and pink DS custom tackle float. Orange crab fish bite. I did tip it with shrimp, but no telling if that shrimp was still there. This guy's gotta be about 14 to 15 inches is my guess. And I mean, really, I was just like not even excited to reel him in because there's no fight. All right, let's get this rod back out. This one is the one I threw way out there. It's my nine foot. I just cast it as far as I could, which is a good ways out there. You can see that, I will show it if it's visible. Even if it's just 
a 12 inch pompano i'd love to catch three to go ahead and get my aggregate at the surf fishing classic go weigh it in at holly bait and tackle here in navarre is where you can weigh your fish in you do not have to drive all the way to gulf shores i believe there's four in weigh-ins Oh yeah, look at that rod. I'm over here playing on my phone. Oh yeah, now he's still there. That was a good pull right there. Good head shakes on him. Oh man, be that stud, be that stud. All right, he's kind of running in. He's going, going sideways. Maybe it's that pump, man. He definitely got me excited, whatever it is. All right, I'm crossed up, crossed up. Went the wrong way with it. All right, what we got, what we got? He should be close now. Oh yeah, that's a pump. Nice, there it is. That's the aggregate right there. Awesome, man. Oh, that makes me happy. All them shorts throughout the day finally paid off. Nothing to brag about, but he's a nice 12, 13 inch thick pompano. Definitely made my aggregate. He hammered that rod. Yes, maybe the bite's gonna pick up for the evening. And we may, might end up with a limit. Who knows? The day's not over yet. Let me get that beta back up. And that pump went for this pink float with a pink shrimp fish bite on it. And I ended up moving it. I ended up casting it out far with my other rod that I capped that stud on a minute earlier. So I'm going to launch this one back out there too. That seems to be where they're at today. Close in has been all shorts. There you go, way back out there. You can see that. And I might as well do a bait check real quick. So I'm gonna check these two out, get some fresh bait back out there. I always do bait checks every 15, 30 minutes. Might not get any bites, but little bitty fish out there, if they find your bait or a crab or whatever, they will take it. There we go. Come on, eat it, eat it. A little pecs. I don't want that. I want fish. Come on. I want him to eat it. I only got not even what seven more minutes. I gotta go. I gotta go weigh these fish in. He's poking at it. Let's see what's going on with it. This reel is so hard to reel in that I don't even. I can't even tell if there's a fish on it or not. Oh, there's fish there. All right. So there was something poking at it. And it's a remora. If you catch the remora, you gotta wear the remora. Let's see if it'll suck onto me. Come on, you got it. That's a remora, shark sucker fish. They'll suck onto you. It feels weird. All right, let's get this guy back. Quit playing with him. <laughs> Very cool little fish. I really, I think they're really pretty. See you, buddy. Go find you a shark. I gotta get to the tackle shop. By six o'clock to weigh these fish. 4.41, I got four minutes. I'm leaving at four, I gotta start packing up at 4.45. All right, well it's 4.46. I gotta start packing them up. So I'm gonna pack up slowly. Hopefully one more rod will go off. That would, that would make the day right there. Catch fish right before I left. Away at the buzzer at the buzzer oh <laughs> yes oh it feels like a good fish too <laughs> oh i love it you can't beat it oh we'll see if i can land it though i'm getting too excited oh he's fighting pretty good man come on come on is he running in yeah he's still there sweet sweet Be that pump. Be that pump. Take my time with him. Pumping now! 
Oh yeah! <laughs> oh! And, and you can't make it up. There's the time if you can see that. It is 4.51 at the buzzer. And that dude went for green shrimp fish bite. And this purple and white flow has been doing pretty well for me. And you know what? I think that is bigger than the one I caught first thing today. So this will up my aggregate for the tournament a little bit. Love it when you're packing in your stuff and catch that one more fish. And I still have a rod out. I'm going to still pack it in slowly. Maybe I can catch another one. Who knows? But man, that's the best feeling. You're packing your gear up, ready to end the day, and catch another pump right at the buzzer. If I'm going to head to Holly Bait and Tackle, weigh those three fish in go ahead and get them in the surf fishing classic posted by beach bum outdoors be sure to sign up but overall great day i may not have caught all big pompano today maybe five shorts so let's say eight pompano total today not a bad day always feels great to come out here and catch your target and stay on your target hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time take care and tie lines